two months premature, and a heart condition. One might say I was born to overcome challenges. I searched for my place in this world, and I found it here. This pebble dice is where I battle now. I have my sights set on the Olympics, and I will push hard to get there. Yeah, a little embarrassing. Um, actually got off to a decent start, had the end we wanted to have, and uh, I don't know if it's a little bit of a straight spot or we just took too much ice, but positive throws out there just are no good, and you get get a little bit back at all, and away it goes, and it all started from there. Did the conditions change tonight? Uh, no, not really. It was straight, and it was straight in our uh, the other game that we played Norway in, so we knew coming in what it was going to be like. We just, just got trick, tricked on a few spots still. How does the team bounce back for something like that? Uh, well, it's going to be pretty tough. Uh, you don't come here hoping to play in the bronze medal game. You come here to be in the gold medal game, so very disappointing. Yeah, I mean, it just kept accumulating. I mean, you got the first end, and then you, you play a pretty decent end, and then you still, you're still in trouble, and it just kind of one miss after another that, you know, kind of unnecessary. So, I mean, that it's hard to stay upbeat when you're just not feeling it. You know, I still got a bronze medal game to play tomorrow, and we got to be up and ready for that one. But uh, I know we'll see. Uh, I gotta if I'm gonna if I'm gonna get at her, I gotta train hard and get the body into shape and uh, fully fully commit. Um, I mean, that's what I'm assuming the team would want. So uh, I mean, that's a big conversation to have. Yeah, that's on me. I mean, I set a bad tone early in the first end there, just a little set on a straight spot, and uh, that was that was not a good way to start the game, and uh, uh, wrong side of the inch all night otherwise. Yeah, I don't know. I thought we were ready to play. Um, felt pretty good. We, I thought we played it. It was a, it was a very, very well curled first end until until mine, and uh, so, you know, I was liking kind of the, the vibe out there and the feeling, and uh, yeah, just um, it went downhill after that. How do you put the pieces back together for tomorrow morning? Well, um, you know, I, I think we, we reflect on last year and how uh, how poor that was, or how poor it felt to not stand on, on the podium at all. So, uh, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll come out and, and obviously fight hard tomorrow for sure. Yeah, well, no, they played great. Um, we didn't we didn't uh, give them any tough shots though either. I mean, you get down and, and they're going to peel. They're going to peel till the cows come home and not miss anything. So. Uh, you know, just uh, I mean, we didn't execute our game plan whatsoever as far as uh, as far as kind of making it difficult on them, and uh, um, that's the way it goes. In your own game. Yeah, you know, I I mean, the first end was bad. Um, you know, there was there was a couple that uh, weight-wise that I thought were were good, and we didn't get anything out of them too, and uh, just not sharp enough. Um, you know, whether it was just different spots in the ice or or what have you, but. Uh, uh, you know, I, I uh, all week I felt pretty good with my weight and didn't really worry too much about if I had to draw, you know, a piece of the four or the button there or whatever. And uh, I can remember one this game that, uh, you know, I was a little baffling. I thought I, th I, I threw a freeze back four and then I threw a hair less and it slid back eight. And uh, I can't explain that. You know, that's that's the beauty of the one-two game uh, is is that you know you have that extra life and. Uh, you know, I mean, so similar to our Briar last year, we lost the one-two game last year and uh, and came back and found a way to, to win the semi in the final. I mean, you know, I can all of us have been in every scenario known to the Page playoff system, and uh, you know, I think we've we've all won from different positions uh, at different times, and uh, so no, we weren't. Uh, I mean, we were frustrated last night for a bit, but I, I really felt like we put that behind us and we're ready to play, and uh, just wasn't our night. No, uh, I don't think uh, it was possible to play any better than that. And uh, it's uh, for sure the best performance we've done as a team so far. And uh, being a new team, uh, I, I'm really proud of how they played and how they handled this situation. Uh, so I'm um, really looking forward to, for tomorrow. In terms of having a comfort level, coming off a game that you had this afternoon and going straight into that game, did that help you guys? Uh, I don't know. I, I, it helped us to uh, figure out the ice for sure. Uh, we knew uh, pretty much every detail about the ice. We talked a lot about that. But then. Uh, we were always going to be ready to, uh, to play this game. We knew uh, Canada was the team to beat uh, uh, on the way to the final. So I'm um, really, really um, proud of how we played. And it was, uh, like I said, probably the best performance we've done as a team so far. You kind of picked the team up on your shoulders. I mean, you were curling 100% for most of the night. And 
did you feel like the other guys were feeding off what you were trying to bring out there tonight? Um, yeah, well, I think we were all playing uh, playing great. Uh, a few small mistakes, but uh, they were all coming um, the right way, so to speak. And we never made, made any, any big mistakes that were costly. We uh, all kept uh, kept them on the on the right side the whole game, and uh, um, and then making all the, the shots at the end of the the, the ends uh, didn't really give them a chance. Take a look at tomorrow. You played those guys an awful lot over the years. What, what does it take to beat them? Uh, yeah, we know exactly what it takes to, to beat them, but we know it's always uh, close as well. So uh, we're going to have to play about the same uh, strategy as today. And uh, if we get a lead, they know we're uh, really hard to beat. So that's where we're going to try and create some opportunities to get a lead.